In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to change the RAM in your MacBook or any other Mac laptop that's very similar. All the links to get the RAM are below. Um, this is where I found the cheapest RAM at. So, hope you guys enjoy, and here we go. Alright, so these are all the things you need here. You need your RAM that you ordered. I got mine from Crucial.com. Um, fairly cheap. 4 gigs for, I think, like 90 some dollars. So, first you need that. You need a screwdriver, fairly small. This one took me like five minutes to run around the house and dig up because ours are kind of scattered everywhere. Um, excuse the loud noises in the background, it's kind of construction near my house. It's really loud. Anyways, and then you need your Mac, my MacBook here. And most Macs are fairly similar. Mine's a 2007, uh, winter of 2007 MacBook. Um, and it needs an upgrade badly. It's only running on one gig. So. The first thing you want to do is shut off your computer, um, shut it all down, and then you want to dig into it. You want to get a coin, um, or you can actually do it with your finger, and you want to, right there, you want to undo that. So let's do that. And then your battery will pop out. I have a rechargeable battery. I need to charge it. <laughs> and then you have the compartment. Now in here is a metal um, plate that you need to unscrew. I think there's there's three screws on it, so let's just do that real quick. Alright, so once you do that, you can see here that the plate is out over there, and you have access to the hard drive and the two RAM slots right here. So the next thing you want to do is open up your brand new RAM. make very very difficult for some reason. I thought it would come in sturdier packaging, but it's all bubbly. Okay. So I have your two two RAM modules from crucial.com and then the receipt in the bag. But you guys don't need to see that. So you have your two RAM modules. Go. Two gigs each. Um, so dim 256 megs, 200 pin DDR2. Uh, DDR3, like on the new Max, says it. But yeah, then what you want to do is you want to go here, and there's two levers. You pull them both, and your RAM will pop out. And then you just remove the RAM cartridges. Uh, and this one isn't coming out. There we go. I saw that, and then, oh. Alright, so then you take your stick of RAM that you just unwrapped, and you stick it in there according to the directions. Um, on the 2007 MacBooks, the DDR2 is to the left, so if you have the Crucial sticker up, or the brand sticker up, it should be to the left, and it should just slide in. Gotta make sure you push nice and hard, make sure it clicks, otherwise you won't pass the memory test at the beginning. That one's in. Open up your other RAM stick. Pop it out. And do the exact same thing. A little notch to the left. It'll show you a picture right here of which way the RAM goes, but you also gotta pay attention when you take it out. So, yeah, you just... Make sure they're both tight, you can tuck the levers back. And then the next step is to screw the cover back on. Alright, so once you screw the cover back on, everything should be sealed up. And three screws should be in there. And you should be good to go. Just pop back in your battery. Lock it back up with the screw, or not the screw, the coin. Place your RAM that came aside. Hynix is what they used originally. <laughs> and then open up your MacBook and boot it up. And it should pass the RAM test. White screen.
Apple logo means it's good. Give it a sec here. Loading. It's doing its thing. I'll just wait here. I'll show you guys the actual time of it, how long it actually should take. If not, you should get like a little, it'll, it'll tell you that there's an error and you probably didn't push your RAM in all the way. Uh, you, put, you shouldn't be able to put it in wrong because of the notch, but you probably didn't push your RAM in all the way and it's not connecting with all 200 little pins. So if, you do, if that happens, then you just unscrew it and push them both in further and you should be good to go. Um, it's going to take a lot longer to boot up, obviously, this time because of, it needs to reload all the information on the RAM, um, all the boot information and system information. And it's two gigs, so it should be good. Or four gigs now. I have four gigs right Kind of used to that. And for you people with integrated graphics, everything should get a lot better. Um, everything should get faster. Your video capability should be faster. Processing should be faster. Resource management should be faster. And hey, look, it works. Make sure that uh, it's recognizing all your RAM, because um, it can recognize one stick and not the other. You want to go up to your Apple. You want to go to About This Mac. And you should see right in there, in the middle. Let me zoom in real quick. Should be able to read that, or not. But it says 2.2 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, and four gigabytes of DDR2, 667 megahertz. So that means you got your RAM installed properly, and your machine should be run a lot faster. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it a lot, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye.